I can conjure the spirits. I don't do no harm with them. I do good with them. I don't know if this spirit stuff is real. I mean, I'm just here to get what I want. And what I want is John Proctor. I, I don't know why I went to the forest with all those girls. They're all pretty mean to me. I probably would have had more fun crocheting and singing hymns in my room. You can't ignore me forever, John. Someday you'll have to realize. Realize what? That I'm married? That I shouldn't have to explain myself to a child such as yourself? You know we're meant to be together, John Proctor. That's where you're wrong. I'm a husband and a father. I shouldn't have to explain myself to a child such as yourself. Leave your old hag of a wife and you'll see what you've been missing. Don't you dare speak to me again. I don't want to see your face around me or my family ever again. You'll rue this day, John Proctor. You'll rue it! Y'all yeah, admit I had feelings for Abigail. Do you still have feelings for her? No, absolutely not. I hate men my age. Older men are so much more interesting, honestly. So you want to steal this man from his wife? Is that what you're saying? Well, duh. Have you seen his wife? She's literally so ugly. Are you calling yourself attractive then, miss? Compared to the old hag, I'm a goddess. John should know that I am his true love. My dear sweet Betty, wake up! Wake up, Betty! She hasn't made a sound for hours, Abby. Oh no. Abigail, come with me. I need to speak with you in private. What in God's name did you do in that forest, Abigail? We only danced, Uncle, I swear. Tell me the truth, Abigail. I deserve to know. I swear, Uncle, that is what happened. You think I am a fool? I have taken you into my home, and you have ruined my good name in front of these people. Now I command you, tell me what you did in that forest. I promise, we only danced. If anything else happened, it was from that old tatuba. My niece is a menace. She has truly ruined my life. Look at my reputation. It's ruined. So why did you take her into your home, sir? Oh my, she was an orphan, and as a good, God-fearing man, it was my duty to take in the poor thing. However, I can't completely blame her for her terrible behavior. She did watch her parents get murdered. Do you think Abigail is the reason Betty is ill? Oh, absolutely. That child is bad news wherever she goes. I know without a doubt that she's responsible for everything. <laughs> what is it, Betty? Speak, my darling! Oh my! Could this be the work of witches? No, no, do not go speaking of witchcraft until we hear from a doctor. I have already summoned Reverend Hale. You know, Paris, this is what happens to all our children. Sick one day and then gone. You cannot rule out witchcraft. I have not ruled out witchcraft, Mrs. Putnam. I just want to know what's wrong with my dear sweet Betty. Wow, she is just as you describe, Paris. Can you tell what is wrong with her, Mr. Hale? Could this be the work of witchcraft? May I ask what the girls were doing in the woods that night? My niece Abigail tells me that they were simply dancing. Abigail, tell me what you and the girls were doing in the woods that night. Why, Mr. Hale, we were just dancing for fun. Who else was in the forest? Me, Betty, Mary Warren. There's just too many to remember, sir. Who led you girls out there? Who got you to dance? It was Tatuba. Tatuba made me do it. She conjured the spirits. It's all Tatuba's fault. I demand to see this Tatuba this instant. This whole situation is freaking insane. There's definitely some witchcraft going on up in here. Tatuba's gonna crack, I know it. But if that lunatic thinks I'm going down with her, then she's got another thing coming. Tatuba, is it true that you made a compact with the devil? I can conjure the spirit, sir. Tell the truth, Tatuba. Did you compact with the devil? I made no compact with the devil. Confess, Tatuba, or I will take you and whip you to your death. Hang the woman! No, no, do not hang Tatuba. I said no, devil, you lie! Who did you see with the devil, Tatuba? I saw Goody Osborne with the devil. I saw Sarah Good with the devil. I saw George Jacobs with the devil. I saw Bridget Bishops with the devil. I saw Goody Howe with the devil. It was either those women or Tatuba. Tatuba not going down. Yeah, I just woke up. I don't know what's going on, but those people I accused seem pretty screwed. Whoops. I beg you, John, tell the judge that Abigail Williams is a fraud. I cannot, Elizabeth. You know the things she would say. I don't care what she'll say. It is over between you two, is it not? How could you say such a thing? I thought we were behind this. Then denounce the awful child. Do it for me, John. I just can't, Elizabeth. You still love her, don't you? Oh, put it to rest, for God's sake! I have heard news from Salem, Mrs. Proctor. Well, what is it, Mary? You have been accused of witchcraft. This can't be. I'm so sorry. You're dismissed for the evening, Mary. Yes, sir. 
Giles, what brings you to our home? Witchcraft, John. The girls have gone playing crazy. Martha's been accused of witchcraft, and I'm scared to wit's end. I don't know what to tell you. I have my own problems to sort out. Hello, officer. How may I help you? I am hereby ordered to arrest Miss Elizabeth Proctor under charges of witchcraft. <gasps> this can't be! When I get my hands on that Abigail Williams, she won't see another day. How do you know that this was the work of Abigail Williams? Do you think I'm stupid? That little tramp has wanted me dead ever since I kicked her sorry bosom out of my house. I can't believe all these good people being called witches. Never did I see this coming. So you believe that there truly is witchcraft in Salem? I mean, who knows? But I do believe that Elizabeth would be called a witch before my Martha. She's always been the jealous kind. Mr. Danforth, I know that these women of Salem are frauds, and I can prove it! And how do you intend to do so, Mr. Proctor? My servant of Mary Warren knows these girls, and she can testify that they are lying. Bring this Mary to me. Mary, is it true that you saw people with the devil? That is true, sir, but that was when I shared lies. What is the truth, then? The accusations made were pretense, sir. They are lying to you. Mary Warren was controlling our words. She is the one with all the powers. <gasps> that is not true. I would never compact with the devil. It was her, Mr. Danforth. She is a real witch. Oh, shut up, Abigail. You are the witch here. Me? I am innocent. Ha! Huh? Innocent? You are far from it. I confess to all of Salem that I have had an affair with Abigail Williams, and I am ashamed. Thank you for your confession, Mr. Proctor. Does Elizabeth know of this? Yes, you can ask her. She is the most honest woman I know. She will tell you all about it. Danforth, what brings you here? Elizabeth, I have a very personal question. What is it? Did your husband have an affair with Miss Abigail Williams? Oh no, John is a loyal man. He would never do such a thing to me. Well, you see, Elizabeth, your husband has just confessed to this crime and he vouched that you would confirm his confession because you are an honest woman. But now it seems that the rumors are true. You may truly be a witch. I call John Proctor to the stand. Mr. Proctor, you said that your wife Elizabeth was an honest woman and would not lie about your affair. Is that true? Yes, this is true. Your wife has just confessed to me that you did not have an affair and have been a loyal husband. Your wife will remain in prison and she is not to be trusted. Danforth, please! And you, Mr. Proctor, are a liar! Just like Mary Warren. She's a liar just like her masters. John Proctor did it to me. He's a wizard. <gasps>